Now in the last part, what I've did is we have find even an odd number. But the value we, we took is our own value, right? But every time we cannot change the value. We want to ask user to enter the value. That means this value of n should come from user. Now for that, what you do? First, you have to ask user. So we'll say, we'll print something. We'll say, enter a number. So by, by writing this statement, printf, we say, enter a number. And then we have to use something called a scanf. So printf is used for the uh, printing statement. And scanf will ask the user to enter a number. Now scanf is also a function in which I will say the input inserted by the user should go to n. But hold on, n is a variable name. Scanf will ask you for the address. That obvious, right? When you say you have a variable n which is a container, it will be stored in your memory. That means that memory will have some kind of address. Now how to specify the address? We have to use something called as ampersand sign now this ampersand sign defines the ampersand sign defines the address right and to specify which type of data it will contain and then we have to use something else person d now this person that defines the number you will be getting is an integer value and it's stored it should stored in the address location it should be stored in the variable n and the address of n is ampersand n okay now, now if I run this code, we got the output. We'll, 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 we'll get the output from user. We'll say uh, input from user. We'll say enter a number. If I say eight, now eight is a even number, right? But I want to I want to take this input on a new line. So after this, enter a number. There should be a new line. Now, how to go to new line? Uh, after printf, you can simply say slash n. Now slash n means new line. So it's a special symbol. Slash n is a new line. Then we have one more called as uh, slash t will be used for tab. Then we have slash v, which is used for vertical tab. Okay, we'll focus on slash and time bin. And yeah, now let's let's run this. So it's asking for a number. We'll say a number is 67, and it's an odd number, right? So this is how you have to take input from user. But what if you want to take two inputs? So let's say we have one more variable. So just for the example, let's say we have one more variable x. So what we can do is we can say it is ampersand person d two times and the first person is ampersand n, the second person d is ampersand uh, sorry, n and x, right? And then for just notification, we'll say enter two numbers, right? This is how you have to achieve, uh, two, you can take two inputs at the same time or you can use two scanf. Simple, so this is how you have to achieve uh, user input in C programming. Just remove this extra code. Okay. Even I don't want this X here. So just remove. And that's it.